Hi I'm James and in this video I'm taking a look at Grid Autosport running on Intel HD520 graphics on a Core i7-6500U processor. We can see here we are running this at 1366 by 768 and the medium detail preset and we're just using the game's built-in benchmark mode. Um, frame rates are pretty good on this with a minimum of 36 frames per second throughout the test and an average around 45. Um, so we could potentially, if we were aiming for 30 frames per second, uh, drop the, uh, sorry, raise the resolution or the detail a little bit, or we could um, lower detail or resolution, say to 720 and the low detail preset to try and get towards 60 frames per second. But overall, I think this is quite a nice compromise to make sure the game is playable while still looking good. As you can see here, this environment sort of shows it with a lot of AI cars, close quarters, urban setting. So I think this is actually fairly representative for, you know, some of the worst case scenarios for this game. Uh, just because you do have a lot happening on screen in this test. So if you have Intel HD 520 graphics and... Grid Autosport, I think it should be a playable experience for you. The um, the Codemasters range of games do tend to work quite well on uh, Intel HD graphics. In fact, when I bought this laptop, I even got a copy of F1 2015 included with it. So yeah, a good choice if you're into your sort of arcadey racing games and that you want to be able to play on the move. I hope you found this video useful. Be sure to check out my channel for more games running on Intel HD 520 graphics and other graphic solutions and be sure to hit the subscribe button if you want to see more in future. Thanks for watching.